do 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 Okay, we should be live. Oh, 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 I'm being attacked. Oh, I'm being brutalized. Gotta go switch the settings on Twitch manually. Oh, my boat. Oh, my boat. It's gone. Oh, my boat is gone. Oh, my boat. It's gone. Oh, it's so over. My boat is gone. Oh, I gotta mute my stream. Oh, no, 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 no. Stop. 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 Oh my god, I did it. What the hell? You're falling about. It's a mature rated game, what the hell? I never knew it was considered a mature rated game. Well, I guess there's yeah. been non stop blood and sexual things, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Why does my sex game have a mature rating? Why is my game that keeps saying sex and semen have mature rating? Doesn't make any sense. Intended for certain audiences. Yeah, the horny kind. These what audiences kind of... in the chat? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do it really does sound like Zelda music, doesn't it? What? It sounds like Zelda music. Slag? Oh my fucking god. Hi uh, Sergey, so how are you doing today? You doing good? <laughs> Only five days left Christmas! Wow! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Only like five days till Christmas! Wow! Wow! Bro, my boat! Here's my YouTube thing. Oh, wait, I can call my boat. The fuck? Oh, yeah, I used to have a YouTube chat. Where did it go? I killed them. Good morning, Katana. How are you doing today? We're gonna sit around for Ben and go. Today we got we got Norman Jaden helping us voice act to help save my throat a bit. No. He agreed earlier, guys. Don't listen to what he's saying now. No. What do you know? No. Oh, my to race is gate volume. Are you not respecting my autonomy as a fellow human? Yes. Base. Okay, I'm gonna raise the Steins gate volume. I'm so tired, fell asleep during like five out of six of my classes, and my friends had to shake me awake after the bell ring. Holy. I would have just skipped school. Just kidding, don't listen to that. Do not skip school, that's not good. Do it, it's based as fuck. That's alright, how are you? Are you doing good today? I, uh, I recorded a cover. I, re I recorded a cover for you, so I'm actually happy with this one. I could show you guys, actually. Maybe it'd be better as a secret. It'll be uploaded soon enough, anyways. It's well, a K pop a... song. It's a K pop song? Yeah, dude, I want to start K pop now. Sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. I love K pop. Nah. Both my afternoon teachers weren't here. It was boring as, it's boring as shit. Sage, when does school, when's winter break start for you? Huh? K-pop? No, we're not. We're not. I don't, I don't think the Ace channel's ever tuned K-pop, unfortunately. Yes, it will. You can't just say yes, it will. It's not, it's not gonna happen. It will. I don't even listen to any K-pop songs. That's the problem. Quit fronting, bud. Quit fronting. Quit fronting. Come out. It's safe for a K-pop stand here. My mic is constantly in the red. Holy shoot. Holy crap. Holy guac. 
Is that what I sound like? Is true? Okay, to be fair, actually, it's louder because of the voices. Okay, guys. Guys, please, please let me know if either I'm or Norman Jaden is too loud at any point doing certain voices. Eat a burger with no honey mustard. Eat a burger with no honey mustard. Okay, one last, one last audio check. Everything sound okay? Cover Queen card by G Idol now. Now that you've typed now in all in all caps, I'm definitely gonna do it. Can you do a penis check? No. Pretend this is the channers, bro. Pretend this is the channels. Homophobe. What? I always use something as often. I could literally just say Norman's too loud every two minutes if I really wanted. That's the intrusive thoughts coming out. Norman too loud until he just eventually muted. Why would okay. you say that to me? Well, we're good. We're good. Steinigate. What do you, what do you, like, you know, I wish I was fluent in another language so I could hear the English, at what English people sound like when speaking my language. You know? I like, what are the, the Canadian accent in, in foreign languages sound like? Horrible. Horrible? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, let's go play. Ready, Norman Jaden? What, bruh? You ready? No. I don't even know where guard. I'm streaming to you right on Discord. Yeah. Okay. It's time! Hello, everyone. Welcome back to day two of Steins Gate. From where we last left off, we went to a university lecture. And just like most university lectures, it was way too complicated and way too long. Also, today we're being we are featuring a of like I wouldn't say a fellow voice actor, but I am having another person I am having my friend Norman Jane voice some voices today, so that's gonna help with my throat. Do you think I should mute on Discord and you listen through stream or do you it's better to just keep it here? Oh, you can just mute the stream. Okay, let's go. Fuck, what did I sound like again? I just talk normally, right? Departing ways with Darwood ATF. I had to yana the bat Yana Bayashi Shrine. Need to get exercised. Seriously doubt that the Makase Kurusu at ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an experience. I'm Japanese. It's in our blood. <laughs> Any Japanese people can vouch for that? Yana Bayashi Shrine is located on the other side of Kanda River. Find it to the first side road after crossing Mansebashi Bridge. It's a very small shrine that doesn't fit with the surrounding multi-tenant buildings. Kanemyojin is the more famous shrine in Akaba, but I did really chose this one. The shrine is so small, you could easily miss it if you weren't looking. Regardless, I can hear the chirping of Psychiatus from the few trees growing here. It's opening! There are two girls standing in front of the main building. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna adjust the actual thing real quick. It is slightly too loud. Okay, should be good. There are two girls standing in front of the main building. One of them is Mayuri. Oh god. I've never seen this character in the Steins Gate anime. Who is this? They have a name. Are they frequent? The yeah, other's a docile looking beauty in traditional Miko attire. Urushibir Urushibira Luka. A stunning example of feminine charm and grace. I hope he's not saying this stuff out loud. Oh, he's keep, he keeps going. Lips delicate like cherry blossoms in bloom. The essence of Japanese beauty. A chief priest's son. That's right, son. Lovely in every way, but he's a guy. Is it still a romance? Is it still a romance? Wow. 
He even has a high-pitched voice. You know what? If he's a guy, he, 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 he gets a guy voice. Good afternoon, okapi -san. He bows his head. The voice of a girl. We're not we're not doing another girl. We're not doing a girl voice. I would love to do more high pitch voices, but I'm not that flexible. So he'll get a high pitch. I don't actually know how to refer to this person. We'll go to a name. More feminine than any girl I know. But he's a guy. Which is okay. I am like my character's like hard simping over this guy. Tall the Mayuri, yet also slender. Trans icon, let's go. <laughs> but he's a guy. He's gonna hammer it in like ten times. Looks stunning in Miko robes. But he's a guy. Holding a bamboo broom, apparently in the middle of cleaning. But he's a guy. It's almost evening, it's still hot as hell outside. <laughs> but he's a guy. Damn, Sakaias won't shut up. But he's a guy. Rukako, that blade I gave you, what happened to it? He's a friend of mine. I call him Lukaku. Kako? Kaku. Remember when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven? It also so happens that Lukaku and Mayuri are classmates. I learned the fact after I had gone to know him. Lukaku is taken aback with my sharp question. He starts fidgeting with a flushed face and tears in his eyes. <laughs> Demon Sword Semidar. <laughs> Um, you mean Demon Sword Semidari? Correct. I bought it for you so you could learn to control your power. Oh, uh, yeah, you bought it at Lightworks, right? I think you said it cost 980. <laughs> His voice raised up. Don't say another word! Any more, they will come to silence you. They're gonna silence me? Thanks for worrying about me, Okri. But who are they? I know my ears question. So, Lukako, are you making sure to practice with Samadari like I told you? Yes, I, I do practice swings once a day. As long as you carry as master at the Senshin Sama School of Swordmanship, you can prevent the dark flame inside you from consuming your soul. Demon Sword Samadari may be an imitation sword, but that is the only form it takes to hide in the world. When one worthy to wield it appears and unleashes its true power, and it was on sale for only 980 yen, tax included. Thank you, okabe -san. It was a wonderful present. My name is an Okabe. It's Okarin! <laughs> I think the thing is, I may be absolutely delusional. I may be absolutely delusional, but I am charismatic. I have convinced so many people around me to go along with my little shtick. I'm sorry, Kiyama-san. As long as you understand. Now, speak the words. Uh, um, Asai Konkulu? No, not Konkulu. Kongru. Yes. Asai Kongru? Did I get it right? Lukaku smiles happily as I nod. Thank you. Such a lovely smile, but he's a guy. Such a beautiful master disciple relationship. Mayushi's not a Fujoshi, but he's getting a little excited. Oh no, I think everyone actually. I think every character in this game is gonna be a bit of a degenerate, aren't they? Uh, Mayuri chan, please don't imagine such things. Jeez. Though we do have a master disciple relationship, I, Huon, and Kyoma have gone to great lengths to brainwash. Uh, I mean, teach Lukako about the evil conspiracies that rule the world and how to resist them. The stuff about the Demon Sword Samadari is part of the training. Looks aside, Lukako is very beauty and hardworking. Plus, he's always eager to learn new things. Master couldn't ask for a better disciple. Though he does have the weaknesses of not catching on too quickly and being too shy. What are you doing here, Mayuri? I came to see Lukako. Komi has coming up next month, but I want him to cosplay as Kirari Chan for Rain yet. But he won't say yes. But cosplaying is just too embarrassing for me. But I'm sure you'll look great in it. 
At first, though, it's just cute, Kenpi girl. It's really poppy, you know? Come on, make your cosplay debut. My year's hobby is making costumes. She's made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. It looks like she's choosing Lukako as her next target. Naturally, the costume Ayuri is currently revving about as a female character. Normally, I would understand why a man wouldn't want to dress like a girl, but come on. Lukako has no problems wearing Miko robes. Why, why should cosplay be any different? Whatever. I have business to take care of. Save the trivial stuff for later. Uh -huh. It's really important to Mayushi. And it's trivial to me. Anyway, Lukako, it's a good reason for my being here today. I need you to perform an exorcism. An exorcism? Don't look at my dad, please wait. No, it's not that serious, I just, I just need some peace of mind. My character is, <laughs> the moment my character has to talk to someone like four years older than them, it just falls apart. Honestly, I can relate. That's why I came here instead of Candy Shrine. So with that said, bring out the usual. Um, the usual? You mean Samadari? No! Who the hell uses a demon sword for an exorcism? The usual for an exorcism should be obvious. Uh, I don't know what's called, but it's that stick with the zigzaggy paper thing that the priest does a shaky thingy with. <laughs> that sounded really dumb, okay? Quite a shock to hear that from Ayuri. Oh, to Vanessa. But I don't know if my father lent it to me. I'll go ask him. Lukaku makes a quick bow, then she runs off towards his house, which is on the shrine grounds. Meanwhile, Mayuri takes her pocket to watch out her bag to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the sort you'd expect from a high school girl to carry. Guys, I used to have a pocket watch, it was so sick! Don't get me wrong, if I pulled that shit out in public, I deserve to get made fun of, but you know how cool it is pulling out a pocket watch, checking the time, like flipping it open, and then putting it back? Holy shit, it's awesome. This name is Pockety. Obviously that's the name Mayuri gave it, not its brand name or anything. Ever since elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pockety with her ever, ever, everywhere. It's your most important treasure. Well, it's time for me to go to work. Do your best. You going straight home afterwards? Yep. Mayuri lives in Ikebukuro. Comes to Akaba by train just about every day. It should be obvious that we travel with friends and all, but I live in Ikebukuro too. Though, I've been staying at the lab since summer break began. I feel like my parents must be rich, rich, because I don't feel like I'm getting my little lap for free, and I also don't feel like I'm paying for it. See you tomorrow. Come, Mayuri, to stop before she trots off. Wait, Mayuri. Back at her out again. You heard a man scream, right? Scream? Mayuri blinks several times and puts her finger to her temple as in thought. Then she gives her usual smile. We miss out again? This afternoon. No, I don't think I heard anything. Oh. Well, alright. Look, Green's a weirdo. Bye bye. Do -do -do. Mayuri leaves. It's time for good. Though she pauses to wave at least half a dozen times for his disappearing before the archway. That's kind of wholesome. Let's keep waving over and over again. Thanks for waiting, Okabe san. Lukaku returns shortly after Mayuri leaves. In his hands is the white zigzaggy thing I asked for. Don't let me borrow it, thank goodness. Um, did Mayuri chant me? Don't worry about Mayuri. Begin the exorcism at once, Lukaku. Um, okay. But do you really want me to do that? What, when exactly am I exercising anyway? Lukaku's flustered. Is she really up to this? Be in the doubt. Should have known better. The instant doubt touches my heart. A terrible chill shoots up my spine. Gah! It's the evil spirit! In my arm! I grab my violently shaking wrist. Be still, foul spirit. Ugh. Hurry, Lukaku! It's trying to take over! No, no way! Please hang in there, okabe san I'm not okabe san I'm sorry, kiyama san Ah, uh, but what should I? The exorcism! Hurry! Just do it! Like I taught you! Okay? With serious look on his face, Lukaku grasps the 
Uesuna with both hands at the word of sword. His stance is impressive. I taught him well. <laughs> Face is red, he can barely talk. It looks like he wants to say something, but it's hesitating. Panicking because he feels awkward. Tch, amateur. Please! Luca! Expel the spirit from me! I don't, don't want to kill you! Oh my god, no, fuck, that was the wrong voice! Lukaku starts crying. Looks like he's really worried. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty. Like I made a frail girl cry. But despite the tears welling up in his eyes, it looks like Lukaku has managed to work up his resolve. You hear me, evil spirit? He raises the Uenusa up high, shaking it left and right. Please leave from Okabe. I mean, Kiyoma san. That's great! Now strike my arm with those zigzags! The tip of Uunusa touched my upper arm. In anime, to speed a cue for something dramatic, shockwave to occur. Nothing like that happens. The only sound is the chirping of cicadas. It, did it work? Take a deep breath. From my arm has stopped. I'm okay. Looks like you drove away to evil spirit. Good job, Lukaku. Oh, they say Lukaku. Lukaku sighs in relief and blushes. I'm glad I was able to help. Shy smile really does make him look like a girl. Just go for it, man. I don't care. Is is Japan? Is Japan good with? What is the plot of Stein's Gate? It's gonna take a while. I think it's generally gonna take a while for them to get to the plot point. Okay, this is the character. This is the character introduction part. After I get back to the lab, I take the broken TV down to the brown tube workshop for repairs. Daru and Mayuri have only gone home, so I have to carry the TV down the narrow staircase by myself. It's brutal, but I can work, but I manage. Just think of it as a slice of life until they start explaining stuff. I push the workshop door open with my hips and head inside. The room is dimly lit by the setting sun, but the gloom is offset by the glare from the gigantic CRT in the center of the room. 4 2 inch CRT television. Doesn't seem like something you could get in the modern Japan. With LCD TVs becoming the new standard, I scarcely doubt anyone would want a bulky old CRT. Who is this? Hey, Norman Jaden, I got a character for you to play. Go be a brute muscly guy, looks just like you, IRL. Yo, what's up, Okabe? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Sitting in front of the huge CRT is an equally huge man reading a sports newspaper. The workshop's manager, actually, the owner of this whole building, the Noji Yugo. I call him Mr. Braun. It's a very name for someone who loves brawn tubes. What's up? That TV you gave me broke, that's what. I bet you were treating this rough, weren't you? <laughs> Barely matched to the heavy TV on the counter. Love! Gotta treat him with love! What's a bound bald guy talking about love? Sends shivers down my spine. Only repairs post haste. Man, why they always talk like that? Mr. Brahm begins investigating the cause of the problem. Nothing better to do, I look around the store. I don't know if it's just the dust hanging in the air, but something feels stagnant about this place. There are CRT screens everywhere. Girly pop there, that's a good description. The haphazard layout makes them seem like junk, but they're all functional, according to Mr. Braun. I've got a full range of both old and new. Some of them are probably older than me. There are even some flat screen and HD CRTs that came out just before the LCDs take over the market. You're up and late today. Don't you usually crow on 7? The crowds in Akaba thin quickly at night. All the major electronic stores close around 8 or 9 o'clock. And then, as if the liveliness of the day was simply a lie, the town goes silent. Tenoji! Oh shit, yeah. Oh shit. I'm expecting someone! You know that shit, 
Don't be calling my little girl a chipmunk, you hear? Madger glares at me, takes a photo from his wallet. It's a picture of a young girl shyly making a peace sign at the camera. One might assume this model bound man to be some kind of pervert, but the girl is actually his daughter. She's about 12 years old now, I think. This love of her is second only to his love for CRTs. Or was it the other way around? I see her in the story every now and again. What was the name again? If you touch me, you're dead. That's it. Nay. A rare name that means the braid. She popped up the store every now and again, so we interacted with her before. By we, I mean my Yuri, since she's the only one Naya gets along with. Naya always hides when she sees me or Daru. I must admit, I'm impressed she can sense my aura of madness at such an early age. Mr. Braun makes a grandiose kissing gesture at his daughter's photo. Once again, shivers down my spine. But seriously, besides your daughter, has this workshop ever had a customer? I've been renting the second floor for about six months, but I don't recall ever seeing a customer. I'd be surprised if this place were actually a money making any money. Ain't a customer. He puts away the photo and goes back to checking on TV, leaving me with a vague answer. There's probably just a loose shoulder on the board. I can fix it. Really? Well, then by all means. Hold on, I'll get you an estimate. What? You charging me? What do you think? This ain't some charity, boy. <laughs> who would have gave us the TV? Yeah, so what? Never said I'd service you for free. Curse you. You have some gall to say that after foisting a half-broken piece of junk onto us. Oh, shut up. If you don't want it, I can take it back. Though I'll have to charge you for its safe disposal. Extortion! You dare cheat the man who very well might change the future of mankind? Huh? Who's that now? Me, of course. Who else? Brush your teeth and go to sleep, kid. You got some nerve to be back talking when I'm letting you rent the second floor for next to nothing. Hmm. You shall have your money, Mr. Braun. In the end, no match for him. Just then I hear the door open. I look up to see that a girl enters the store. She's wearing a vintage jacket and tight shorts that highlight her long limbs athletic figure. I find myself particularly impressed by her well-defined thighs. Okay. If this is the 12-year-old girl, I'm gonna fucking lose it. Please, God, no. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Suddenly time stops. It feels like someone activated the Wuruto. <laughs> how, do you, how does he say it? In Jojo? The world of the Honestly, you do this voice too. Do your girl voice. Um No, no, <laughs> try again. <laughs> I can't be doing all the girl voice, I wanna lose my throat. Oh my god. Okay. Um Good enough. The girl standing still Standing there with her arm in the air, her smile gradually fades into confusion. What kind of reaction was she hoping for, seriously? Anyway, is she the person Mr. Braun was expecting? Maybe she's someone she knows personally. Another daughter? What did I say? It's a girlfriend. She finally drops her pose and clears her throat. Um, I called earlier. I'm Amane. Just like that, time starts moving again. Whoa, she freezes time. Dude, I'm not voicing two characters at once! Okay, yeah, it's a switch back, it's easy. You get used to it, you get used to it. Uh, so you're the kid for the job interview? I'm Tenoji, the manager. Job interview? This young woman? You want to work at this dull, dirty, depressing, dead, red, and brawn tube workshop with this filthy old manager? You want an extra thousand yen to your rent? Wait, that's ten dollars! Wait, what the fuck is he charging with, actually? Wait, only ten dollars? If this scares her, we're broke as hell. 
I worry about the truth. Though, I suppose not my place to get involved. Anyway, I had no idea the Bronte workshop was hiring. It always looked so free. I didn't know you needed the help. Actually, I'm the one who begged for the job. The girl looks a little embarrassed. The boss refused at first, but I wouldn't take no for an answer. It's honestly surprising. Kids would drive are rare these days. Take a seat right, right there. <laughs> you got you, you got your dick solid, bro. Take a seat right there, young lady. Oh, hey. thank you. Why does every girl in this game have like the little like three mouth? Looks like they're going to have a formal interview. I was going to leave, but since Mr. Braun hasn't kicked me out, I'll stick around a bit longer. The girl's expression's stiff. Guess she's nervous. Just because of a part-time job interview? In contrast, how she said she wouldn't take no for an answer. She doesn't seem so enthusiastic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that's the right one. Right, what was your name again? Amane Suzuha. Amane Suzuha. Age! Eighteen. You gotta read the names faster, bro. You, have, <laughs> you used to dog on me for my fourth game of reading comprehension, you can't even read the names at the bottom. <laughs> I'm me. fucking laughing, stop. <laughs> Student? No. She shakes her head. Why do you want to work here, then? Because I love CRTs. Tired. <laughs> you start tomorrow. Just like that. Wait, what? It's come some sort of joke. We got a camera. Thanks, boss. Finally, Amine Suzuha seems to relax, and she looks at me. Um, who are you? <sighs> you dare ask my name? Banish the thought from your head, girl. To learn it would place her life in jeopardy. Countless women have learned my name and would define themselves targets of the organization. Sarah in America, Claudia in Italy, Simone in France. I won't put anyone else in danger. Hey, stop pulling things out your ass! Oh, he is kind of supposed to be country after all. Wow. Nice read, nice character read. <laughs> Clean. This doesn't understand my pain. This idiot rents the second floor. Name's Okabe Rintaro. I don't know if you're allowed to say the word twink on Twitch, Seiji. <laughs> my name is not Okabe. It's who I Quit it, or I'll raise your rent. I'm okay with Rintaro. The girl stands up, places her hand on my shoulder, and looks at me with a serious expression. I don't know anything about this organization that's after you. But if you're ever in trouble, Okabe Rintaro, let me know. I can help you with stuff like that. I don't think she's supposed to sound so mean when she's so genuine concern. <laughs> huh? Stuff. Like what? If necessary, I can hurt them so bad they'll never bother you again. Mr. Brown, why did I? Why did he speak in English? Mr. Brown, I don't think you should hire her. Yeah, she might be a wild one. I'll fire her if she causes any trouble. Anyway, ignore that organization nonsense. Oh no, Gabe's head. It is. You just keep thinking that. Someday, the world will kneel before me. <laughs> and then, Amine Suzaha stares straight at me again. Maybe she has a habit of looking people in the eye. So that's the current trend. Thanks for the tip. Dude, I can't, bro. I'm not looking forward to me both. I'm not looking forward. To when we when we both had to do girl voices to each other, Trent, 
don't think so. <laughs> Theater kid, ah. Uh, we both did take drama at some point. Uh, it's Took good. it for a year, bro. So hot. The university all morning. As I return to Akiba, the heat is now becoming unbearable. I grab a nice coffee at the bakery inside Yodobashi to quench my thirst. Oh, I got mail. Oh yeah, I was playing on controller before. I gotta go switch back to controller. I don't know how to open the phone on the keyboard. Hold on. Controller plugged in. Okay, let's go check my phone. Actually, my controller even working? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 cancel, cancel, cancel. Holy shit. Oh, no, go back. Okay, you know what? I'll just use the keyboard. I figured it out. Lukaku. Come on, Lukaku. You got some text to read. Oh, wait, I'm Lukaku. I thought I, I fucked the name. Yeah, I'm like, who the fuck's Lukaku, bro? Wait, I can reply? Stop, 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 stop. How do oh I go back? God. Okay, there we go. I feel okay with Nestor's exorcism. I feel like a more traditional ceremony would have been better. I'm worried something might have happened to you because I wasn't strong enough. It bothers me so much I can't sleep at night. P.S. Because of that, I couldn't do more than three practice things at Samadari. How do I reply? Don't worry. Thanks to your ecosystem, my right arm has been quiet for a while. Still, there's no telling why I could set it off. If I'm, if, if I'm forced to do battle again, let's just pray to organization's ass. ass oh, organization's assassins don't find me. The technical difficulty I almost happened twice. No way we're ever closing the game. Oh my god, stop, stop! Yeah? Yeah? It's just like, I keep pressing escape on, like, by default. Posture check? Alright. Posture's fixed. Grab a nice coffee at the bakery inside, Yodabashi, to quench my thirst. While I'm at it, I guess I'll check ad channel on my phone. I mostly creak into the occult board, the future technology board, and sometimes the physics board. I search for threads on the master's appearance phenomenon, or my cast occurs who's stabbing, but turn up nothing. It just like 4chan? So, were those hallucinations after all? When I peek at the occult board, I find posts and multiple threads from someone claiming to be John Titor. Wait. Is it Titor or Titter? Titter. John Titter is back. John Titter appeared on American BBS 10 years ago, claiming to be a time traveler. He claimed to have traveled from the year 2036 in order to obtain an old computer, the IBM 5100. His claim started quite a storm on the BBS denizens. Titter also made several accurate they fragmentary predictions on future events. John Titty, no. It started the Iraq War and the spread of the Kreutzfeldt Jacob disease, for example. To prove he was from the future, he explained the principles behind his time machine and provided pictures of his operation manual. But after four months, he disappeared without ever revealing his identity. At one point, his predictions gained popularity, even in Japan. Yes, he certainly did get some things right. But on the other hand, he missed several others. Some of his posts contradicted each other, too. That's why, to this day, most people doubt his authenticity as a time traveler. So after 10 years of silence, the John, that same John Titter is now on Japanese BBS? Ridiculous. It's obviously a troll. First of all, John Titter is an American, yet now he's posting on Ad Channel in Japanese? Let's take a look at his post. I don't expect you to believe I came from the year 2036. So that everyone would like to know more about my time machine. Time travel technology was developed by CERN. They played the first machine in 2034. Time traveler lol. John Titter lol. More details on the timeline. Or time machine. Did they sell time machines? How much do they cost? I got about 100 million yen saved. Can you send me one? CERN has a monopoly on time machines. Not even the most powerful nations on Earth can acquire one. To say nothing of private citizens. CERN used their time machine for power. By 2036, the world has become a dystopia. There is no war, no conflict. However, there is a false peace found on the complete eradication of liberty. What does law mean? Why did you come to this time? What's the Akami satellite crash you're doing? Wait, guys. Teeter San doesn't understand at channel lingo. Let's keep it simple, okay? If you know what I mean. Get a trip code, asshole. It's a trip code. I came here to change the present. In other words, your future. My mission is to destroy certain dystopia and restore freedom to the world. This is a wonderful time you're living in. Everyone is free. But you will lose it all in just 20 short years. It is vitally important that you understand what the future has in store. What is a trip code? I might get one if you tell me what it is. 
You said only CERN has time machines. You have a time machine. That must mean you're working for CERN. Therefore, your goal can't be to destroy CERN's dystopia. You're a fraud. What's a dystopia? Is John Taylor just, like, stupid or something? I can CERN take over the world in just 20 years. Look at what the Middle East. You've been reading too much manga if you think you can get those guys to stop killing each other. <laughs> what? Who asked you to change the future? You trying to play God? If they're promising world peace, then I, for one, welcome our new CERN overlords. My time machine is a prototype reverse engineered from stolen CERN technology. Compared to their time machine, its capabilities are quite limited. In 2036, the world is ru ruled by a single all-powerful governing body. They control every aspect of our lives, deciding what we will eat, where we will live, and whom we will marry. You know, honestly, if they can if they can hook me up with a good wife, and I don't have to put effort in, it's good enough for me. There's no privacy and no choice. Anyone who dares oppose them is eliminated. There are no trials. In movies and small stuff, changes to the past cause huge changes to the future. You've already changed the present by coming here. What happens if I, if you make unexpected changes to the future? Implying CERN moves the world. Do you even know what CERN is? Lol. OP is a troll. So if we find his dad and kill him, then his time traveler, Lin Mao, will never be born and I won't listen to his bullshit, am I right? I wanna know if I can meet you past self. Can you can you have self cessed? I don't think I don't think we can impregnate ourselves. You're talking about the so called grandfather paradox has been debunked. The world line has a divergence of 0.571024% compared to this world kind of line I came from. Killing my father would alter divergence, creating a world line where my father is dead. However, it would not erase this world line. I would go on existing. CERN is a particle physics research institution that hasn't changed in 2036. It is possible to meet your past self, but the prevailing theory in my time is that nothing would happen. I, however, haven't met my past self. If you're really a time traveler, then prove it. Post time machine pics or get the fuck out. The many worlds interpretation. Whoa, slow down, bro. Research institution taking over the world? Lol, what? Yeah, people. I don't know, man. I don't feel like anyone listens to research institutions. No way they ever get governmental power. The sci scientists can't convince government to do shit for it. I do not feel the need to prove that I am what I say. I am. I only impose these measures on a whim. My mission comes first. What are world lines? Can you make yourself from another world line? What happens if you do? Lay reply. A trip code is a way to identify posters. Put pound hashtag. Hashtag password after your name. Lol, backpedaling. World lines are like infinite numbers of rivers flowing in parallel. Along the way, they are constantly branching out into new world lines. This is called divergence. For example, whether or not you post on this message board has practically no effect on this world line's divergence. But if you are murdered, let's say then divergence would change. However, it would only change by about 0.000002% if that. A second human being's death is not terribly significant on a global scale. Wars, disasters, act of terrorism, and other events that cause widespread death and destruction have a much greater effect on divergence. Thanks for telling me about trip codes. Make sure I use this one from now on. I'm starting to get tired. So let's pick up again tomorrow, since I'm talking to everybody. Looks like they've already made an archive of these threads. Of course, there have been sites dedicated to John Titter for years now. This post closely resembles what the original Titter wrote ten years ago. I read one of the books on Titter. That's how I know. This new John... Are you sure it's Titter, bro? I think John Titter sounds so dumb. Is it not Titter? No way. Can you can you Google Translate that? I'm saying Titer until you prove it otherwise. This new John Titer is clearly an imposter. There are many Titer fanatics on Ash Channel. He's not exactly a household name in Japan, but I doubt anyone would fall for this level of trolling. As I continue to read, however, I find a response opposite of what I expected. Everyone is accepting this time travel as if it was as if it was his first appearance. It's John Titty, Asker, trust me. You don't want to lose that trust, Seiji. Nobody's even mentioned his appearance. It's Titor. It's Titor? Okay. Finding this strange, I tried posting a retort, but everyone ignores me. What the hell? You should have said your dad works for At Channel, bro, if you wanted people to trust you. You can figure this out if you do a little research, people. There's the original John Titor thread archived in English, and plenty of Titor blogs in Japanese. I entered John Titor's name into a search engine. 12 matches. Wait. Only 12? Moreover, all 12 are about the current John Titor's posting on Ad Channel. I can't find a single trace of Titor from 10 years ago. Bizarre. This just can't be. I searched for information on Titor a few years ago, Back then, I got 10,000s of hits. This is search engine filtered? I tried searching on another site just to make sure, but it gives the same result. What is this madness? It feels like I stumbled on another plane of reality. 
Could this be another organization conspiracy? These past two days I've been surrounded by nothing but chaos and confusion. I'll call Daru. He'll know about Taito for sure. After all, I talked to him about Taito before. I only vaguely remember the details of that conversation, but I'm positive the conversation happened. Okay, Daru, get ready. He's gonna show up. Oh, never mind. By the time I dig my phone out of the bag, I no longer feel like making a call. Instead, I'll send an email on the way back to the lab. He replies with his location. By May Queen. He means May Queen plus Nyan Squared, a maid cafe. Daru's regular there. Apparently, 3D cat maids are his thing too. May Queen plus Nyan Squared is only a three minute walk from the lab. Coming from Kirimai Bashi Dori. Take a left at Suma. Sumako. Isaka. Crossing and you'll find it. That's where I'm headed now. It's usually busy in Akaba during that summer break, but now it's even busier because of the Radican incident. The area was blocked off yesterday, but it doesn't look like they could keep the main road closed for two days straight. I haven't seen a single police officer today. But the Radican building still seems off limits. The entrance shutters are closed shut and sealed with yellow police tape. <laughs> We're here now in Akihabara the day after the unexplained satellite crash. The police barricade has been lifted and a tremendous number of people have gathered in front of the station. The satellite's origin is still under investigation. We're told that it can't be removed until the authorities have more information. According to the police, the satellite does not appear to be dangerous. However, tourists and local business owners have raised concerns. The media has dozens of cameras set up outside the police line. There are nearly twice as many onlookers as reporters. Enough to fill the entire street with people. Everyone's aiming their phone camera at the satellite-like object. So many people. Living in Akaba, you get used to crowds and big events, but a gathering with a size is unusual. I wonder when they'll get rid of that thing. Hope it doesn't explode or anything. Oh my god, bro. It looks like Dream. It looks like Dream. Look at the little thing on top of the shutter. Dream! It's him! Shut up! <laughs> They've been letting people back into the area, so I guess there's no danger. Still, considering it's unknown origin, I'm surprised there isn't more security. Today, like always, Taku is shopping for doj Dojinshi. Import games, electronics, or whatever strikes her fancy. Aside from the scene at Radican, it's the same as any other day. I still understand what I saw yesterday. I thought I've accepted that the master's appearance was just my imagination. Maybe I've become unable to distinguish reality from fantasy, like the media likes to say about teenagers these days. With that thought in mind, I returned to my... I turn my gaze at the street. Oh no, there's another female character. And she's she's distinct. That, that's, that's how I know she's gonna show up again. And there in front of me stands a woman holding her phone in front of her face. Huh? She took a picture. Her phone was clearly pointed at me. I tried to cover my face, but not quickly enough. I turned around just to make sure she wasn't pointing at someone behind me, but that doesn't seem to be the case. She was still staring at her phone. Without even glancing at me, she turns around and points her phone at some other pedestrian. Maybe she's just taking photos of everyone to see and not just me. But still, I need to have a word with her. The organization's after me, so I can't risk that photo getting out. Wait, wait, wait! Just like the f Oh my god, it's so f it's so funny, just like the like when like the Japanese characters randomly speak in English. Wait, wait, wait! Unfortunately, I don't, I don't I don't know what weight is in another language, so I can't imitate it. She doesn't turn around. It's just so engrossing in photography that she doesn't even notice me. The Japanese is so cursed. I mean, it's pretty solid. Or did you not catch my magnificent native level English? Hey, you have a phone camera! Wait, please, wait! She turns back, finally knows me. I just realized all the, all the female characters, they kind of sound the same, do they not? It's like, it's all high pitch, there's no like low female voice. And of course, her phone turns with her. Hey, no pictures! Are you with the organization? She completely ignores my objection. And she goes back to look at her phone. Answer my question. Are you with the organization? She is. Then I may have to take suitable measures. I like how the title changed. Some boy related to the organization spy. You're not? 
probably not a organization spot. Even so, I can't let you keep that picture. The organization will stop at nothing to find their whereabouts. And they'll kill anyone who gets in their way. I need to leave that picture immediately. Is he even listening? Sorry. Wow, she finally speaks. Just a whisper, but something. If I upset you... She lowers her head slightly in a bow. Or at least I think it's a bow. She's been looking down all this time, so I can't really tell. Before you apologize, I need you to delete that photo. Oh my god, she called me scenery. Where is the mommy voices? Say, did you physically think I'm capable of producing a mommy voice? I'm sorry, I cannot. Okay, she's she's French now, I don't care. I was shooting the scenery. Her fingers dance across her phone keys with impressive speed. Exactly the opposite of her annoyingly slow speech pattern. The scenery? You are a tourist? Or is she one of those people who came to see the satellite? In that case, why did she take a picture of me? She shakes her head without looking at me. <laughs> I love the I love the, the new like name title for her. It's so funny. It's proof of where I was today. You're a strange lady. Kiryu Moika. Hmm. Why are they all submissive immediately? I don't know how to do a dominant. No, just, 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 I don't have it. I'm a, I'm a guy. Look where my voice octave goes. In my name. Guess she's introducing herself. It's nice, but I just want her to delete that photo. I have a question for you. May I? First, the photo. That's an urban legend in Akihabara. Have you heard of it? Urban legend? What's she talking about? I'm talking about the story? Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about me. I thought you were every female voice. You're just calling my female voice missing. I'm like, I can't. I'm sorry. Don't tell me. There's a brilliant but insane mad scientist said to be lurking at Kiyabara. And now the brilliant but insane mad scientist is the target of every assassin in the underworld. God. I remain in this town for far too long. I'll need to make plans. Akihabara, you were in such a bad town. I'm glad. A phantom pet show PC. Little PC. Pet show PC? She replies with a nod. Or something like a nod. They say that's one in Akihaba. Oh. Nothing about a mad scientist. I'm relieved, but also disappointed. At any rate, this is the first I've heard about a phantom retro PC. A retro PC? You mean like a 98? That's the first model that comes to mind. But are 98s really that hard to find? She shakes her head slightly. Or something like a shake. No, this. She turns her phone towards me. The screen shows an oddly shaped computer. Honestly, I don't know what the hell that is. It's hard to tell since the picture's monochrome, but it looks like some kind of PC. It looks kind of familiar. IBM. An IBM. 5100. Oh, she's John Titor. An IBM 5100. That's the computer John Titor tried to get. Her fingers twitch, I think. You've seen one? No, I've only heard the name. Coincidence? No. This could be the choice of Stein's Gate. Know anyone? Who might know? Thought he probably knows more, more about it. It's my favorite right arm. A super hacker capable of breaking into M1... MI6's mainframe. The MI6 is a slight exaggeration. If ever did happen, men in black would break down our door and take us away. He said the thing? Super hacker. But the super hacker thing is true. Oh, Steins Gate! Oh, you're talking about he says Steins Gate. The depth of his knowledge is uncanny. Speaking of Daru, I'm supposed to meet him at May Queen plus Nyan Squared. I don't have time to stand and chat with some crazy lady I don't know. Well, I'm off. Lady, media scrum moderation. 
I try to make a smooth exit, one liner and everything, but she grabs my sleeve before I can disappear into the crowd. What are you doing? Get it, you man. Please. What are you after? The super hacker. I guess she wants to hear Daru's story. It's my fault for mentioning him. Well, I'm meeting up with Daru, so why not I just take her along? No, wait a second. This could be a devious trap. Maybe she really is a spy sent to kidnap Daru. I'm defenseless without him. My only other ally is, ally is Mayuri, whose skills amount to costume design. I refuse! I'll never give up Daru! I slip past her and start walking faster. I glance back. <laughs> she's following me. I pick up the pace, but she's still chasing me. Stop, stop following me! Unperturbed, she shows me her phone again. On screen is the picture of me that she took. Again! Yeah, you still haven't deleted it? Tell me, and I'll delete it. You dare blackmail me? Who do you work for? I attempt to glare at her in submission, but her eyes are already lowered. My glare is ineffective. I... She hesitates for a second. Work part-time at Arkery White. What's that? An editorial company here in Akihabara. I don't know what the fuck the voice is for her. I don't care, guys. It's whatever. I think it's different enough. One of those companies that writes articles for magazines? This gloomy lady really fit for that kind of work? <gasps> Wait! You play my policy on picture of permission, don't you? The mad side stack of unveiled! I can see the headlines now! I told the organization will need to turn Akaba into a sea of blood. No, I must avoid that gruesome outcome at all cost. I have no choice. Very well. I accept your terms. At any rate, as long as she has that photo, I have no way of knowing how it might be used. I pulled my email address and showed it to her. Looking back and forth on my phone to hers, she enters my info with terrifying speed. Of course. This woman is an esper. I dub her power. Shining Finger! Her magical thumb types cursed emails at 255 characters per minute. Whoever received one dies. She done typed my address. It took all of five seconds. A name? Hoyonin Kyoma, mad scientist. How is it spelled? First, Huo for Phoenix, then In, and finally Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. Huh? Huo, Ho, oh it's Ho, okay. Huo for Phoenix, then In, finally. Kyoma, which means a horrible truth that must never be revealed. I repeat my perfect explanation. This is the origin of my true name. Explaining the in part of Hoonen would take too long, so I left it out. She enters my name with her head tilted to the side. Cool. Like this. <laughs> what the hell is this? Are you mocking me? Yo, ma. She lowers her head a little more. Apologetic bow, I guess. Just send me your phone, I'll enter it. <laughs> she shakes her head, clutching her phone with both hands as if to protect it from me. Like a spoiled child who can't let go of a toy, she shields it from me with all her might. What does she think I'm going to do? Her reaction's a little depressing. Anyway, she's obviously not going to hand her phone over, so I ask her for her address instead. I'll send her a blank mail. She told me a name a few minutes ago, but I forgot it already, so I enter her name as Shining Finger. What am I doing here in the middle of the street? Let's hurry up and send her a blank mail. I don't need to type anything, just to give her my name. I already put her in my contacts to send a blank mail to Shining Finger. She frowns her looking at her own phone. Then she glances my way. I can feel those eyes clearly saying hurry up, but I'm hesitant. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to give her my true name. But for cause of how long I hesitate, I don't think that she'll let me go until I send her in the mail. She's sure it's persistent. Looks like I have no choice but to send the email. We exchange a few words and I get away from her as fast as I can. 
No, I'm not reading that. I opened the door to the May Queen plus Nyan Squared Maid Cafe. The two familiar catted girls came with smiles. It's Okarin. Oh? What? One of them is Mayuri. But here she's called Mayushi Nyan Nyan. Since she works here, I stop by about twice a month. I guess that would make me a regular customer. Actually, I've never been to any other maid cafe. Welcome back, okay? After bowing again, Mayuri gasped as if she thought of something. Hey, Okari, Mayuri just noticed something. Welcome back, Okari, go really well together. Whatever. Don't make the other girl talk. No! Norman Jaden, I need you, my voice is killing me. You're Ferris now. Kyoma. <laughs> Cape. Yeah. The other maid who came to greet me, Ferris Nyan Nyan. Her professional name, of course. Hits me with her trademark combo attack of cute cat like gestures. She's May Queen plus Nyan Square's most popular maid. Even though she and Mayuri are about the same age, she looks and acts a bit younger. Darunyan's tier two. He's been waiting. Yeah. Daru frequents this. Oh, I skipped it. He often reads the public blog with Mana Ring. Ferris is so cute to himself. He's got it real bad. I keep telling him to choose either 2D or 3D, but he doesn't listen. I also have trouble dealing with this cat girl. She always finds a way to best me. I'm holding another seat. Oh, I keep fucking. Okay, so I, I, I have it on the arrow keys. Oh, yeah, something like that. That's okay. Faris wants to join too, yeah. No chance. The organization isn't threatened by catty or mage. I can't do this, bro. <laughs> Don't make me do the girl voice. I can't, dude. Not true, yeah? There's the perfect secret technique to help me take him down. There are so many girl characters, it's a nightmare. There's like two, there's like three guys from Steins Gate and the rest of them are girls. What? You finally mastered that secret technique? Sonia. Yes, Nya. After completing my pilgrimage to Karina Highlands and overcome Mentor's death, I finally mastered it. What Mentor? Ferris knows my true name, Huon and Kyoma. I've also told her all about my organization. For someone who doesn't want their true name everywhere, that's like the first thing I introduce myself with. And now she's more into it than I am. She's always the one to bring up the subject whenever we meet. Oh, there's mail. Um, I asked my Yuri chan about what it is you're fighting against, but she just laughed and didn't answer. What should I do? I want to help kill son. Ignored. Left on red. Can I reply to this? I can't. Okay, we're leaving them on red then. By the way, this is the first time I've heard about the secret technique or whatever it is. So Ferris wants to participate in the spear contest like you promised, yeah? Ah, oh, she's not letting it go. It takes 30 minutes if I play along with her. You're not suggesting we venture to the sanctuary. Dantress, no. Although you may understand the hidden secrets, you're still too inexperienced. But you promised, Nya. Aren't you going to betray me? My brother is waiting for me there. Since when do you have a brother? What the hell's a spirit conference anyway? Ferris looks at me with actual tears in her eyes. I falter. Even though I know it's just one of her cutesy acts. Whenever I talk with her, I run out of the comebacks, which is really unusual for me. My guy has like the worst social ability to talk to girls. It literally is impossible for him. And then she takes initiative, leaving me with nothing to do but listen to her fantasies. I mean, come on. You can only take it so far. There's a very clear difference between her stories and mine. As anyone can see, I speak nothing but the truth. Well, Ferris only has delusions and made-up backstory. I always have to play along. That's why I feel like I can never best her. Um, I don't quite get it. Like, how many of go to the sanctuary too? Great. Now look who's joined in. It's just gonna be worse from here. I have to end this conversation now. You can't come. The discussion's over. Eh? Uh -huh. No fair, Kyoma. Don't care. Stop talking. 
That's right. Leaving my Ishi and Thrashtime behind is mean. Who's Ferris? Ferris Chan is Ferris Chan, right? Right. While you were in Ferris, look at each other and smile. She's talking about the Ferris? Is that a real name? Have I been mistaken this whole time? That's a disturbing thought. Well, my Yuji has a hard time saying Ferris, so I call her Ferris Chan instead. Oh, that's it. It's like we're in a girl's school. That's not do, Tabby. Okay then, moving on. Show me to the table already. How long do you want me to stand here waiting? <laughs> Sorry, Nya. Table for two. This way, Nya. Well, you shall leave to you, Nya Nya. Leave to me, Nya Nya. If you haven't noticed, the cat eared maids here at May Queen plus Nyan Squared require to add cat sounds, nyas, and nyams to the words with some frequency. My ear takes my hand and leads me inside. Please, just take me inside, please. Apparently, my Yushi Nyan Nyan is the only one who leads customers by a hand like this. Probably comes naturally to her. She doesn't even realize the effect it has on her customers, and that's why she's second to fairs in popularity at this May Cafe. She guides me to the Daru's table. The table's about 60% full. Among Akiba's May Cafes, May Queen plus Nyan squared popularity is solid, it's solid but not booming. Considering what Ferris and the other maids are wearing, it's more like a cosplay cafe than a May Cafe. Norman Jaden, do you know how to make Amu Rice? Do you think you can make good Amu Rice if you had the chance? Where'd he go? Did he dip? He abandoned me! No! He's bad me hard. <laughs> Furthermore, the cat ears in Yan 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 dialect makes it less accessible to low level otaku and first time timers. What? On the other hand, those same cat ears are a topic of heated debate among diehard made cafe fans. Mays don't have cat ears. Cat ears plus mate equals twice the moe. These two viewpoints clash. It's placed one of the older maid cafes in Akihabara, but it doesn't get much media exposure. Maybe that's what makes it more comfortable than most. At least that's what Daru says. He talks about this stuff so much that it's been burned to my synapses. Synapses? Tadakun! Look at Nina's here, Nya! No! Norman Jaden! Norman Jaden! He's here! Come back! I need you to do this guy! That was your original that was your original casting, come back. Where are you? Oh my god, he the the guy the guy he originally was cast for finally shows up and he's fucking gone. I gotta read his I gotta read a dialogue for him. You're way late, seriously man. Dara sits in front of me but doesn't look my way. I looks upset for some reason. So, what are you talking about with Ferris? I want details. Really want to know. I don't think you'd understand it. Hell, even I didn't get most of it. Ah, useful. Your conversations are too much for regular otaku. You guys exude an aura or something, you know. It's like you have your own reality, Marvel. You know I can't forgive you. I think Ferris Chan looks looking at him, yeah? Of all the main masters here, Nya, yeah? the only one who can keep up with Ferris Chan is you, Okari. I'm not even close to keeping up with her. So jealous, you lucky bastard. <laughs> I have no interest in women who dress themselves in lies. Like you're one to talk. Silence, you unfaithful bastard! <laughs> All your tootie wives are crying. God, struck a nerve, man. Dory theatrically grabs a chest and falls into the table. I sip from one of the glasses of water that Mayuri brought to our table. Master, I can take your art in here. Omelette rice. And hot coffee black. Sometimes I'll fucking say the R's, like, I'll fucking try to roll my R's for no reason. Just because I listen to the Japanese dialogue and I'm like, oh, they're doing the little things. So I want to do it too. I miss the science part. I miss the science part of this game so much. It's been a maid cafe for it's been like random kid is like an hour. Help me. They're taking my order, Mayuri finds her way towards the table towards the counters and swimming between the rows of tables. I wish I didn't trip. So, what did he need? 
The other asked without getting up from the table. It's right. In my conversation with Shining Finger and Cat Girl, I almost forgot my original objective. I was gonna head out to the lab in about an hour. I have an urgent matter to discuss. Top secret. I lean on the table and scan the area without moving my head. You remember John Titor? John Titor? Who's that? Self proclaimed time traveler who appeared on the internet about 10 years ago. I thought we talked about him before. That's a new addition to your made up backstory? Something like that! Everything I say is the truth! What a pain. Well, I guess I can play along. So, what's the source of this John Titor guy being from the future? Wait, you seriously never heard about him before? Seriously, bro, I haven't. Sure, you didn't just forget. Uh, I can't say for sure. There are even books about him. And I don't remember if you show me one. You really don't remember? Oh, he's fade. We're not computers, man. Oh. This is wrong. I remember talking to Daru about John Titor back in high school. It's only an idle talk, so it's possible that Daru forgot about it. Daru is quite the internet addict, but the internet lets you choose what information you want to see. There's no guarantee that Daru looked up info on John Titor. If he had, I doubt it'd be if, that he would have forgotten so completely. Is it my memories that are mistaken? Or everyone else's? And what about the IBM 5100? Whoa! You know about that? Cool. So, so you know about it? It's the model IBM released back in 1975. Right. That's what John Titor said at At Channel. He traveled to 1975 first, attained an IBM 5100, then leaped back to 1998. What kind of computer is it? The stupidly expensive kind. Back when it came out, computers were so expensive that average people couldn't get their hands on them. It was full of propriety IBM technology. That was a pretty powerful computer for its time. Then, six years later, in 1981, IBM launched the popular IBM PC series, and that's more famous. Anyway, I'm like I'm an expert. It's just stuff I read on the wiki. Have you heard the urban legend that there's one in Akaba? You bet I have. Just last month, there was big talk about it on the net. So Matt Chandler has heard the rumors and registered for it. My friend on Freepara, Sister Centipede, was the main person behind that. Even the legendary Nineheart, their Blitz Schnell, joined the fray, but they still couldn't find it. So, it was just a hoax? Who knows? There are tons of underground on shops in Akaba, but it would be strange if an IPM 5100 suddenly turned up in some hole in the wall. Hmm, I see. My phone suddenly starts vibrating. It's lost about three seconds. Looks like I got mail. Check it however I want, bud. I'm talking to Dara now, so I'll probably wait. Nope, check. Oh, where'd he go? Oh god! Where'd he go? Is it doing it automatically? Oh my god, that's a lot of text. The computer. Oh, no, 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 no. I still have zero idea how to use the fucking phone function in this game. Oh, I clicked off my screen. Where's the phone function? Why doesn't it work? Hello? What a long ass message. Can I read this entire thing? I don't think I would want to. Oh, come on. What's with this mail? Disregarding the weird timing, is this really the gloomy, untouchable woman I met in front of Radican? She's like a completely different person in this email. Does she have a split personality or something? Hmm, well. Got some info about the IBM 5100, so I guess I should give her a reply. But if I send an immediate reply to a woman I just met, would I come off as clingy and desperate? Norman Jaden, you left the fucking guy I casted you for. The one guy you were originally supposed to voice showed up, and you weren't there. I had to read it. Come on, come back. I won't make you do girls anymore. Well, not the cat girl, at least. 
your new strategy. If, if I'm voicing a girl, just just mute me, okay? I I, I need you to I need to be Daru. I who own a Kyoma will not be taken lightly. This is my chance to make her understand which one of us is a superior human being. Above all, I have yet to ascertain if she can be trusted. She might start harassing me if I reply the wrong way. Besides, she hasn't proven that she's not working for the organization. Nonetheless, <laughs> wait, what did he say? <laughs> Napping? Oh my god. Nonetheless, I couldn't hurt to tell what I learned from Daru. The scourge of her force. <laughs> I can't do my evil laugh right now. I thought it was too much. Let's ignore it. It's out of kindness. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the wait, Daru. So, there's one thing I need to know. I scan the area with my eyes once more, then lean in close. The IBN 5100 has the power to destroy the world, right? What? They don't have the power to do anything, let alone destroy the damn world. Oh, fuck. She's fuck. Oh. What's this, Nya? The world's gonna be destroyed, Nya? Ferris brings my omelette rice. She's doing her cat like gestures while keeping her tray balanced in one hand. True feline agility. Despite her nyan 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 nonsense, Ferris is the consummate professional. Master, thank you, Amy Nyan Nyan. Omelette rice, Nyan. The cat girl puts the omelette rice on the table and back in the bottle of ketchup from her apron pocket. She uses it to write, The world is doomed, in red letters upon the omelette's blank yellow canvas. Please enjoy your meal, Fred Abel Dance. Whoa! The world is doomed for the win! Ferris's hammer is so cute it puts my omelette in danger, too! It appears the cuteness that shattered Daru's sanity. I gave him a look that says calm down, but to no avail. I smeared out the ketchup with the bottom of my spoon, erasing the ketchup words. Oh! What a waste! I'm gonna eat it anyway. Daddy man, daddy man! Have you considered participating in the Ferris Cup, yeah? Yeah, of course I'm participating. Andrew's Cup, what's that? Take a mouthful of omelette rice. Next Sunday, we're hosting a rain at the cafe, yeah? Ferris starts dancing in place. I prefer she not jump around like that when people are eating nearby. Ferris is the event organizer. It's all my idea, man. You can participate too if you want, Kyoma. Entrance fee is 10,000 yen and includes a drink. Now it beats Ferris, guess we enjoy some Ferris's home cooking, yeah? It'll never happen. Oh, Rain sucks at Raynette. Yeah, but it's so fun. No, I'm fine. Stop shoving almond rice in my mouth, and I deliver a melancholy sigh. Oh, Raynette acts as Bellers, huh? Whenever I hear that name, I remember the former champion. It's been two years already. No, it's nothing. I forget what I said. Nya? That sounds so serious, Nya. Who was the former champion, Nya? Probably doesn't exist. I mean, Rina didn't even have official tournaments until about a year ago. Kyoma, you still can't forget him, can you, Nya? Huh? I remember that you and the champion, my brother, were such good friends, Kyoma. You were so close, baby, just, yeah. Oh god, she's just making up shit. Don't enable me, please. Don't enable, don't, don't, don't enable Kyoma. He's just gonna get worse. Damn it, she took my storm out with it again. I never said anything about him being her brother. I don't know if Ferris even has siblings. She didn't talk about stuff like this from Ferris. But it's time to go to the past. Seize the day with your own paws. Your shut resounds throughout the store. Fingers snap at me. Even though it's painful. No, because it's painful. I succeeded my brother's dying wish and perfected my skills at a rain iron, yeah? Do you remember, Nya? He used to always say someday let's bring peace to the world with rain iron. Ferris, bring me my coffee. Nya, Nya? Present an empty plate to Ferris. I always eat quickly. It's a habit I picked up naturally during my years on the run from the organization. Screw the slow food trend. Sure thing, Aster. Just a moment, Nya. Ferris takes the dish and heads back to the counter. Whew. If I had left things going as they were, I would have had to play along with her fantasy for another 10 minutes. 
Fierce is one of the most skilled rain editors I know. Dario explains with a wry smile. She's kind of defeated in 400 unofficial matches. She Rooks and Gracie? Dario knows my perfect retort. I don't know who Rooks and Gracie is. It's very disappointing that Fierce doesn't get to go to official tournament. She would if she did, no doubt. Why doesn't she? I'm sure it's for the customers. She probably doesn't want to inconvenience the store. Truly a model maid. Also, she's Mayushi's age, so she's probably a school too. She doesn't want to, she doesn't want to inconvenience the store, yet she's holding the Ferris cup here. It doesn't matter at all. The point is, Ferris is cute and cuteness is justice. Cute eared cat maids are sweet. You know what I mean. That's all that matters, right? So, in the end. Do you bat for the 2D team or the 3D team? <laughs> I dare say I'm bi! You're an inspiration, Daru. I know. I'm just too awesome. Daru usually doesn't show any enthusiasm for anything. The exceptions are Moe and Ferris. I wish you were just impassionate about our experiments. Okay, we escaped the maid cafe. Thank god. Okay, I can't voice anymore. I can't do it anymore, guys. There's so many voices. Please, no! Save! Save the game! Save the game! Don't... Oh my god, I skipped so much shit. What did I skip? I just skipped, like, ten dialogue. No! 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 No, 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 wrong one. Oh my god, please. This is so stressful. I just want to go to the menu. Oh, fuck! Okay, plug the controller in! Please, please, just, just how do I go to the menu? Help! Okay, I gotta search this up. I'm scared. I'm so scared closing it. Please! How do you... Okay, Steins Gate PC Controls. Oh god, dude. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, I got the thing. Okay. Ooh, S to save. S to save? Not working. Ooh, fuck, what did I press? See? That's the phone! Oh my god, no! Oh my god, help. I can't, I can't do anything. Oh my god, I did it. Thank god. Okay, save. Thank god. There we go. I hope we're good. I dare say him bye. I swear that's how the homies think of me. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching today. I appreciate it when it came out. It was a... I don't think this is going to be a popular game. Not whatsoever. Honestly, this game might actually even be too long. But I do quite like the game. I would actually like if we got back to the science stuff, though. That's I think the science part's awesome. This is going to be a long game. We're going to be playing it for a while. There's a lot of female voices. that make me want to die. I gotta, I gotta find... A, I gotta find... Some with a female voice, or the fe like the female voice range, the voice of some of these female characters. Otherwise, I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good day, everyone. I might stream later. Might not. We'll see. Bye.